Loven right here and welcome back to West Bridge Hills and Farming Simulator 22 here since last episode. We finished our planting here and then fast forward to time here a couple of days and now our barley that we planted here is ready to harvest. So we're going to get started on that here this episode. Uh, probably going to do one thing different here with this harvest. I haven't mean, we'll actually left the straw, you know, we'll produce the straw here so we can bale it as well here this time around. I was looking at our equipment. I was like, how come I didn't do this here last time? Made a little extra money, right? Ooh, speaking of extra money, I just realized... I forgot to sell. Is our uh, wheat still okay? The wheat is still pretty good. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna sell it anyway because uh, we could use the money here. I just realized I forgot to sell that. So let's head to the train station. Wait, let's uh, rent the train here. We'll get that train headed here this way, and then we'll head back to. Let's see, it should be coming, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's head back to the farm here. We'll get the combine going here. And we'll try to come back to that here in a couple minutes now, once the train is actually there. Anyway, let's grab our uh, case axial flow 7150 here. Uh, a little bit of an upgrade from when we uh, first started this map back in 2013. Uh, yes, with the old, uh, oh, what was that combine? The old far combine, I think it was, Evan. Probably a little, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 foot wide header or some rubbish like that, right? Oh, uh, yes. Again, I am starting the uh, map here with pretty much the equipment uh, the map came with here on the uh, the 22 version here, that is, anyway. And again, if you're maybe uh, just joining us here for this series, Evan, uh, we are doing a 10-year revisit here on this map. Again, 10 years ago, Evan, I started playing here on West Bridge Hills, Farming Simulator 2013 there, of course. And this is where I kind of started the uh, Farming Simulator videos on my channel. Why is that one gate like open? Hmm. Can we uh, open and close these gates here? Yeah, apparently we can. We're going to whack the combine. Okay, let's reopen them. Hopefully, maybe that gate will open back up. Or is that where it stops? I guess, okay, that's just where that gate stops. That's kind of annoying. Like, this gate is, like, past open, right? This one is, like, not quite open. It's, yeah, okay. Well, whatever. We'll probably uh, throw a hard worker on this here. But maybe we'll uh, do a round or two ourselves here for starters, everyone. As I've said before, harvest is one of my favorite activities here in the game. Go uh, Westbridge Hills Farmhouse right there. Oh, let's make sure we're uh, dropping straw here too. I'm not sure we, I bet we're not. See the spinners going on the back. Let's touch those off and dump the straw. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And let's get some uh, GPS going here as well. What do we got for GPS? We're going to want 90 degrees. We're going with that. Hold it on the combine. Lock down. And away we go. And I never even stopped driving. Ow. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen very often. That. Uh, wearing my John Deere clothes and a case combine, huh? Well, at least there's something good about the case. For what it's uh, worth, I don't know that I really uh, changed up my uh, outfit here for uh, Farmers that are a whole lot. Of Pretty much the output I have stuck with here for pretty much the uh, the entire game here so far for Farming Simulator 22. Yeah, just tell us the reason to change it, right? No, John, you're close. You can't get any better than that, right, everyone? Well, let's see, has our train arrived yet? Oh, yes, it has. Okay, well, maybe we'll uh, do one more round of it, and then we'll maybe uh, throw a hired worker on this uh, job here. We'll go sell our wheat here, and then we'll uh, come back and we can start uh, bailing on this field here. Maybe we'll uh, fire up the case magnum there, grab our baler, and start working on that job. Also, if you didn't see the last episode, I've got a couple things we are doing a little bit uh, different here with this series than what I normally do here with Farming Simulator. Uh, normally with Farming Simulator uh, 22, at least in the I usually play with Precision Farming turned on, and I've got the seasonal growth and turned on, and 
I've got all that stuff turned on, right? Uh, we are not doing that here for this series. Going a little more uh, retro old school here, so to speak. Um, so we are playing with seasons turned off. Uh, I do still have the months active yet, though, and so we are, like, going through months. Uh, so, you know, we're now in the month of February here. Uh, well, that means that I'm the harvest of barley in February. The actual, like, calendar is not turned on, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, let's say barley takes uh, six days for about well, six months, I guess. that. Is, let's say barley takes six months to grow. It's going to still be, like, six months. Or actually, what was it, August? So we planted in August, so September, October, November, December, January. Oh, yeah, six months. Oh, okay, six months is what it is then. So for those of you who never played with the uh, seasons turned off, I mean, that's kind of how that uh, works. Uh, you know, however long it took to grow before is pretty much how long it takes now. You know, it's not like back in the day when we played Farming Simulator 2013, or even Farming Simulator 19 for that matter, right? One, you know, back in the day, you fast forward the game 24 hours and your crops are ready to harvest. Like an in-game day, 24 hours, that one, was how long it took for your crops to mature. Like you'd plant them, 24 hours later, you could harvest them. Okay, we're gonna throw a hype worker on this. Let's go uh, sell our crops here a minute, and then we'll uh, come back and start bailing, hopefully. Open in the cover. Probably could fit them all in here if I had to guess. We don't have that much for uh, wheat. We just have the one small field here at this point. Uh, that is probably one of the big things I'd like to invest in here first. I'm going to see what we can do about getting uh, some more fields. I haven't actually looked at field prices on here yet. Oh, let's see. If we're going to buy a field, that one, what kind of field prices? Oh, 400. Okay, so yeah, maybe it's, yeah, that's just probably uh, a little outside of our reach. I don't remember what fields I had back on the original farming simulator 2013 version. That one, I'm pretty sure I had field 9. I do remember that one. That's a little expensive here, though. We need like a half a million dollars for that. Uh, can I drive right here? Is this going to be the sell point here? Like, that'll be uh, nice and quick if that is the case. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll sell right there. Cool. <laughs> that was uh, that was short. Oh, actually, you know what? Even if I went that way, it's not like that far away there either, is it, everyone? Okay. Because, yeah, where's the train? Okay, train station. Yep, there's the cell point there. There's the cell point there. Interesting. Okay, back to the farm oven. Let's, uh, and I think I've seen a message about the combine being full. Or, okay, maybe almost full. Yeah. I mean, almost full. And I'm going to have to put uh, this tractor on the trailer. Hopefully this tractor can handle that trailer oven. Because I'm pretty sure we are going to need the, the big trailer. The magnum, that is. For combine. Now being that this is almost a 200 horsepower track, I mean, it seems like it should be able to handle the trailer just fine, if you ask me. That's something we maybe could uh, look at changing out here. Yeah, I wonder if maybe see what's about finding a little bit better uh, trailer option here. What's that combine doing? Uh, what, what are you doing there, bud? No, and I don't really want you to start there. Um, that was weird. Yes, yes, truck. It'd be nice if you like move. There we go. Okay. Don't know what was up with that. Let's uh, realign him back up here, and hopefully he will uh, do a little bit better job. If if not, we're gonna have to like set this up with force for that or something. Because I thought this would be a nice, simple, easy job for a hired worker, right? Just straight up and down the field. You got plenty of room to turn around. But anyway, I think. Apparently, the hired worker didn't think so. Uh, going back to what we were talking about a few moments ago, though, Evan. Um, I'm also playing with stones, of course, turned off. Uh, we do have lime and plowing turned on. I usually always play with those on, even back in Carmen Simulator 2013. I'm pretty sure we had lime back then, right? I'm sure we had lime as far as I know. I'm trying to remember, like, what did we actually have back in Farming Simulator 2013, Evan? Um, lime, fertilizer. Fertilizer's been in the game for a while. I don't know if it was in the uh, original version of the game or not. I don't remember that. A little better job of lining up here. 
There we go. Okay. We'll have the combine unload. Let's go grab the other tractor. And then the baler as well. And this, of course, is the uh, Case Baylor here as well, the LB436 Rotor Cutter. Don't know that I've ever seen a Case Baylor in real life, at least a large square Baylor anyway. Although, come to think of it, I don't know if I've ever seen any square Baylor in real life. At least around where I live, you see the, you know, the John Deere's, the New Hollands. Oh, I'm trying to think, what else are there? I think there's some uh, for Vermeer Baylors, I've seen those. Don't think I've ever seen a Case Baylor. Okay, you know what? I was going to go look at what the uh, width of the combine is running. I'm going to curse me. That'll be good for the first couple passes here, but then I won't know for the rest of them. We'll just have to, uh, we'll have to wing it here. The first couple passes will be consistent, but then after that, don't know. Whatever the width the hired worker is using. Really? He didn't load? Okay, let's try that again. Really? Oh, 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 come on. There we go. Being stubborn here. Old, uh, old GPS bug, Evan, that's never been squashed since Farming Simulator 2013. Still, uh, Farming Sim 19, I'm sorry. Farming Sim 19. This particular GPS was not available back then. Pretty much, probably. Oh, need to unfold here first. Okay. For those of you who never, like, I figured out how to line up a GPS here, I'll show you a real easy way, Evan. What you're gonna do here first is line up with your first row. And then we're not gonna worry about setting the width here too much, everyone. We'll uh, worry about that when we uh, turn around. And then we'll uh, just adjust the width accordingly. Oh, yeah, the higher worker turned around fine in that one now. Close up with the first one there. Looks like we're uh, yielding pretty good here this time around as well, one. Uh, I don't remember how much we got. Well, actually, what's 50? Some thousand liters of wheat there. We've already loaded the combine once here on this field. Hopefully that's a good sign. I, again, what I should have done on the first harvest, that one, and I neglected to do that, is I should have probably lined and fertilized the field. Uh, now, we were playing with precision farming then, but regardless, I still should have lined and fertilized the field. And again, that would have greatly increased our yield. It essentially, it would have almost doubled it, everyone. At least a base game anyway. I'm not sure with precision farming how much uh, those make a difference, that one. I'm assuming they're about the same as what they are in you know, base game, but I could be wrong on that. Okay, and like I was saying, Evan, so you set your first line on your first row, right? You got your GPS centered on that one. Now you notice, Evan, I, I did kind of like sort of set a width. But it's obviously not quite correct, right? So what we're going to do, I'm gonna, we're going to go in here, and we're just going to readjust the width. Let's just bump it down here, see what we end up with. Where was that? Another minus yet. That was a what was a 25 foot header. I was thinking it was a 30 foot. But yeah, we got that lined up. Looks like it's pretty close to being centered. Might be off by just a little bit. And uh, what you might end up uh, having to do, I one, at least what I noticed. You get a couple of rows in, and especially at this point, Evan, because the hired worker's taking over on the next rows here. You'll probably definitely have to adjust it then. But once you get a couple of rows in, you can adjust it, you know, fine-tune that width a little bit closer, and you should really be able to really dial it in. Oh, haven't we got a single bale yet? Is that possible, really? Okay. Not even a single bale yet. We're not even, well, actually, are we, okay, yeah, we actually have, what, two bales, three bales? At least two or three bales in the baler here, so we almost have a bale. Uh, we left that tractor parked right in the way. Can you believe that guy, Ivan? Oh. Done, folks. It's hard to get good help nowadays. Yeah, and you can see I'm a little off on the line there. Now, I don't know if that's because this uh, row of straw is just, like, laying off to one side, or is it actually off? 
that's always a fun thing when you're doing something like this, Evan, because the straw can obviously not line up, like, in the same spot every time either. Like, if you look at this one, you can see this is a much wider windrow than this one is here. This windrow is bunched up to one side for some reason. I don't know why, just the other way the game is, I guess, but... Hey, look at that, our first bale over there. That doesn't uh, bode well for the rest of the field there, if you ask me, Evan. One bale so far, oh boy. Access to a bail in the road. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we need to maybe adjust this here just a little bit. That's probably gonna be too much. Yep. Let's uh, do that. Do that again, maybe twice more. That gets us pretty close. And again, like I said, we're we'll probably gonna have to adjust this here a little bit more too once we get into where the hired workers taking over. So what I'll probably do, because this I think is the last one that was lined up with a GPS. Uh, so when I what I'll do when I get to this row is I'll rehome it. We'll realign on that line there because I don't want the width that's over here messing with the width that's over here. I'm sure they are different. As I've said before, everyone, I have no idea what width the hired worker goes off of. It doesn't even seem to be consistent sometimes from what I can tell. Because there's times like, okay, I'll get the GPS lined up. We're doing pretty good. And all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, why are we off again? That's weird. Just, I don't know. Hired worker doesn't use a consistent width. I'm not sure how Giants does it. I don't know, but apparently from the looks of it, they don't either. Yeah, not, like if you're using a course play one, you can usually count on course play. Let's see, we're going to rehome this. You can uh, count on course play like using a consistent width, and that width is usually the width or whatever set in the implement, right? So if you got a 25 foot implement, that is the width course play will use. Now again, if you have a hired worker, I a hired worker, you might have a implement that is 25 feet wide, but that's definitely not the width that uh, hired worker is going to use. Hired worker is probably going to use like 24, actually probably even more, uh, probably more like a 22.3987543. About 20 decimal points around and out there, something like that. That's what it feels like, anyway. No, really? Come on, not close enough this time. Looks like we should have been, though. I, th I think what it is, everyone is you'll see the animation. So according to the animation, we're dumping like the center of the trailer there. We really didn't move over that much. But the animation is center, but where the combine is actually looking for the trailer is like straight below it. So the combine's like looking here. The animation is over here, right? I think that's what's happening. In fact, do this. No, that doesn't show it, does it? I thought maybe it would. It does not. Oh, well. I thought there was a way to see that, but uh, there probably is, by the way. I'm just not sure what it is. Okay, right, try to leave that there. Hopefully, out of the way, and we can now uh, continue bailing. And a reminder here, by the way, if you haven't already clicked the uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do so. Always very much appreciated. And of course, once you are subscribed, Make sure you turn on your notifications. That way you get notified of the next latest, greatest Westbridge Hills series. As well as any other videos we do as well, by the way. And of course, uh, maybe if you're uh, new to the channel, uh, we typically do farming simulator videos during the week. So Monday through Friday, we have a farming simulator, whatever your map we're playing on at the time. And then on the weekend, I'm I usually try to do the real life videos. So whatever we got going on in real life. So for those who like that content that is on the weekends, farming simulator during the week and yes that one i should probably really split that up into two channels but then you gotta you know run two channels and oh my goodness that sounds like a lot of extra work 
because I know YouTube doesn't necessarily appreciate the way I do it, but probably something we should actually maybe change at some point. That one is like split the farming simulator off into a channel and the real life videos off into a channel. But then you got to run two channels, that one. So like I said, that's obviously like twice the work. But then that would uh, probably make YouTube's the logarithm happy and you know, you're not mixing content and all that good stuff, right? Okay, let's head over to the uh, comment section here, everyone. See what you folks had to say here for last episode and maybe previous episodes as well. Uh, Tim was saying, nice video. Keep them up. Keep them up. Uh, also, maybe do some flour for your wheat. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. That is a good idea there, Tim. I had not uh, thought about that. We should, uh, we should probably do that. Although, that would require us to purchase the... Uh, at least I'm assuming we have to purchase it. I don't think we own any, yeah, we don't own any production facilities, but sugar mill, food factory, hmm, grain exporter. Okay, I probably won't worry about it here this episode, that one, but maybe next episode, we'll start looking into that. Maybe uh, get some uh, flour and stuff going here. Where would one find flour at, do you suppose? That is an excellent question. Let's probably watch where I'm going here. Wow. Really having no success finding that, are we? Well, anyway, uh, like I said, I think that definitely sounds like a great idea there, if you ask me. Probably looking to doing that here, maybe in the next episode or two. Uh, Farmer Johnson was saying, I think Elm Creek is the best American map from Giants. Westbridge Hills and Goldcrest were good. Ravenport was awful. Ah, yes. Good old Ravenport map. Yep. No. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Goldcrest. I knew I was forgetting one of them. Goldcrest. Yes. I still... I don't know. If I had to pick an American map from Giants, I'm still leaning towards Westbridge Hills myself. Just It's got some good-sized fields on it. Um, they're mostly square. I like a little bit of rolling hills on my map. I have one. I don't like the flat. Uh, so this has some nice hills on it. Actually, it's kind of like really steep hill over there. That, that, that hill is maybe just a little much, but uh, yeah. Makes it exciting, right? Uh, Abandoned Brook was saying, lovely video. Just thought I would say there are two Westbridge Hills maps on the Mod Hub. The one you have is with the white fence around the farm, and the other one doesn't have the white fence around the farm. I thought there were some other changes with that map too, but yes, uh, Abandoned Brook is correct. There are two two maps here for Westbridge Hills on the official Farming Simulator Mod Hub. I do have it linked down below for those of you wondering which map I have, and if you'd like to uh, download that map, I'll like that it is, again, linked down below. But again, I mean, it's on the official Farming Simulator Mod Hub, so... Uh, Mason Farms was saying, now all you need is a production manager to keep you on task. Awesome video. Keep up the amazing work. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, that comment uh, kind of goes with, for those who were listening last episode, I was talking about how we have a field quality manager. As, at least that's the title I gave him. And then we also have a channel historian here on the R.D. Allen channel. So anyway, let's, uh, I was talking about this here a few moments ago. You know about setting with that one. We're going to subtract just a little bit there. A little too much. Mm, maybe back this way. Fine. We need a little bit higher degree of accuracy there, but uh, I think it's about the best we can get. It's pretty close to me in the center. Uh, Farmer Johnson was saying the same thing. There are two versions of Westbridge Hills on the Mod Hub. Uh, Farmer Johnson was saying the Mod Hub didn't start until Farming Simulator 17. Oh, wow, was it 17? I was thinking 15 it had, uh, but no. Farming Simulator 17 uh, with the console, by the way. Uh, the official Farming Sim Mod Hub. I'm not sure when that started for the PC version. I mean, it's been out for quite a while, but of course, back in the early versions of the game, I mean, like nobody ever went to the official Farming Simulator Mod Hub unless you wanted European 3-meter equipment, and even then it was little and far and in between. There just wasn't much, but uh, 
Yeah, since Farming Simulator 19, I mean, uh, Giants has really uh, improved and grown their mod hub. It is, uh, it's gotten significantly better, especially if you're looking for American mods. Now, there are still plenty of uh, <clears throat> three meter equipment on there too, but, uh, oh well. Okay, for those who don't like me driving on crops, why now? Because uh, I'm just gonna drive in the crops down the combine. We do have crop destruction turned off here again. Now, if we were on our previous map, I mean, I would not want to do this, but, uh, and this, again, as I've said before, this is one reason why I usually play with crop destruction turned on. I mean, turned on. Turned off. And so, you know, if I have a hired worker, I, mean, I can go unload the combine without having to, like, move the combine out of the way. And, like, uh, yeah. Course plays nice, I mean, because course they, like, will cut out a spot and, like, you can unload it, right? But, uh, yeah, normal hired workers, unfortunately. Not that brilliant. Uh, Hatcher was saying, good video. Thank you very much for that. Uh... RC Wynn was saying the first console release was Farming Simulator 13, which is what I thought. And he also says great videos. Thank you very much for that. So, yeah, Farming Simulator 13, Evan, which would have been this map, by the way, was the first Farming Simulator available on the console. And, and you know, again, that was like 10 years, actually be 11 years ago, because uh, I believe this map came out in 2013, everyone. Of course, we're now in the year 23 here now. And then Farming Simulator 13 actually would have come out in 2012. Uh, probably somewhere in that October, November time frame. I don't remember exactly when that one. Probably, I think it was end of October is when Giants used to release their Farming Simulator. Now the last couple years, it's been a little bit later. But that uh, used to be back in the day. It was, I think it was like a Tuesday, like the last Tuesday in October or something like that. It's when they always released the Farming Simulator versions. Uh, Legendary Tater was saying you were so quiet back then and filmed most of your time driving in the cab. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, probably not as much talking back then. Hmm. Maybe we should go back to that. Uh, Brian was saying, you're losing your mind. No comment. <clears throat> uh, yes, you're losing your mind. You keep calling the game Farming Simulator 23, not 20. Yes, I, I think I realized that after I finished uh, recording yesterday's episode. I'm like, wait a minute. I think I called this Farming Simulator 23. We're in 2023 playing Farming Simulator 22 on a Farming Simulator 2013 map. Evan. So this will probably happen a few more times. Uh, Christopher said, good video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Jared was saying, I started playing Farming Simulator on 2009. And I've played every version of the game besides the mobile versions. Uh, I think I can beat you on that one there, Jared. I have played all the mobile versions. At least I think I've played all the mobile versions as well. So, But yes, started playing this game back. Uh, Farming Simulator 2008 was the first one, for those who remember. Although I don't, did they call it 2008? Or do they just call it Farming Simulator? It's been so long, I and mean, I don't even remember anymore. But uh, Farming Simulator 2008 was the first one. And then they did, like, 09 shortly thereafter. Like, the 2008 version, I was, like, very basic. Very, very basic. Very rudimentary. Uh, Math also saying, did you just plow crop under you missed? Uh, <clears throat> um, I'll have to... Uh, Plead the fifth and get back to you on that one there. Like Simon, our, our field quality manager, he takes the job very seriously. I, mean, I would never plow crop under. <laughs> anyway, moving on, moving on. Nothing else to see here, Evan. Nothing to see here. Speaking of uh, nothing to see, Evan, it is unfortunately time to wrap it up here this episode. So literally nothing for you folks to see now. Uh, so on that note, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. Until next time.